Good morning, at least it's morning for me, but welcome to Sixth Strength. My name is Abigail Montgomery, but you can call me Abby. Here we explore our virtually non-existent non sixth sense and learn how to turn it into a strength that we can use in our everyday lives. And today I'm going to teach you or give you a couple little facts about the biofield and how it pertains to the sixth sense. So first off, we're going to touch on what it is and the human biofield or rather the biofield in general is a term that was coined by Eileen McCusick. She has written many scholarly art articles on the topic. She's also on YouTube. I recommend you look into her. But the biofield is essentially an electromagnetic field that pertains to all living things. Any living thing has it. It's basically that thing that holds your body together. It's what takes your soul out of the fucking sky and gives it shape and form in this solid universe. It's like a funnel. You've got so much going on and it just kind of sucks it all in and trickles information through to your little body so that you can interact with other little living things on this planet. Isn't that fine and dandy? You can call it the aura. What If you see auras like I do, it's essentially your, you are seeing the biofield or things trapped in the biofield with your aura. Um, if you see, you know, the shapes or the dark splotches and stuff or, or gaps, those are in inefficiency, in inadequacies in the biofield. They will find the word for that. Um, it's, it's the gravity that keeps all your cells moving where they need to go. It's a funnel for your mind, body, and spirit to all come through, process the information, and express yourself outwardly. Okay? Why you should care about the biofield is because, as I previously touched on, is it deals with your emotional state, your physical state, your health in all ways, all sh shapes, forms, everything. If your biofield is unhealthy, you are unhealthy. If you're unhealthy, your biofield is unhealthy. You're just if and, and vice versa. If you're healthy, your biofield is healthy. And if you don't worry about your spiritual hygiene, I can almost tell you that your biofield is dirty. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. <laughs> A lot of people just aren't concerned about the debris floating around in their electromagnetic atmosphere. You, you feel what I'm saying? picking up what I'm putting down so if you become aware of your biofield you are much more likely to be able to clean it out and by cleaning it out you're releasing emotional trauma you're physically making yourself lighter you are literally like untying all kinds of things that, that are just attached to you and letting them go it's it's great. It's a beautiful thing to be able to identify with um, cycles and systems in your life that you didn't understand before. Like, why does this keep happening to me? Sometimes it's something trapped in your biofield or your aura or your little gravity, whatever you want to call it. Your emotions are very much in your biofield. And you can... You can control them a little better when you become more aware of them. And that's where I'm going to touch on uh, how to use and optimize the biofield, which is your awareness. Because you physically, because it's an electromagnetic field, there is a sense of literal light to it. Because that is what light is. is it's electromagnetic waves. Correct me if I'm wrong. Down below. Feel free. I like to learn things too. Okay. I might the words just might not be coming to me at the moment but feel free to educate me and everybody else so your biofield is like your true self but you're really only getting tiny little bits of it at a time and when we become more aware of who we are as a whole as a soul as a thing connected to all things we become more open to change and evolve and heal 
and you can tap into who you truly are. You can start communicating with life again or God or source or whatever you call it these days. It's the reality is an interactive experience and you can learn to play with it. And a lot of people are just along for the ride and they're not, they're not trying to get anywhere or do anything in particular. They're just kind of dealing with it as it comes along. When you get accustomed to your awareness, where you are sitting in your body, you can reverse a lot of damage that you've possibly done to yourself. A lot of that shame and guilt and sadness and memories and things that you are just carrying along with you every dang day. You can find them and where they're sitting in you. And you can plug those leaks because you're literally leaking energy by feeding into these things. And once you plug those leaks and you fix some bad habits and you get some discipline for your thoughts and your feelings, you will start to shine, literally emanate. I think that a lot of people just have such a hard time with auras these days because even as someone who can see them, I'm telling you, some people basically have none. Like, they are they just don't shine at all. You have to really look to find it. It's like, are you dead? Because I, you just don't have a whole lot of color to you anymore. And so... I would love to see more people start to acknowledge who they are and all of their wonderful, beautiful colors and just start emanating, all right? And that's why I'm here to teach you guys about this stuff because it's incredible. I have helped people with nerve damage get like feeling back in their fingers and their toes. Um, I've helped clear people's minds with clutter. I see a lot of mothers, in my experience, us mothers have a lot of debris floating around the headspace, okay? It ain't nothing personal, it's just facts. Facts. And being able to clear it so that your head no longer feels like it's in a dark, rainy cloud is incredible. So, just to recap, we, talked, we touched on the human biofield in this case. And... You should care about it because it helps you identify with your true self, your health, and your emotions, and all of the debris that you've been carrying around with you since the day that you were born. And you can optimize it or use it by learning awareness of it and healing yourself by forgiving yourself and releasing a lot of that debris you have floating around. And I'm going to touch a lot more on this because I feel like this is just an introduction. This is just a, what is it? And why it's important to sixth sense, sixth strength is because you can't start trying to use superpowers if you are a withered plant, okay? If you are just a fraction of the person that you could be every day just normally try to be a freaking superhero that way no you first have to learn to heal yourself in order to move forward and heal others and start to if you can't manifest that's why all right because you are wasting your energy all those energy leaks i mentioned you have to heal all those energy leaks before you can start to attract things to you right now you are attracting things that you don't want because you are literally they're just like stickers stuck on you, okay? You don't want bees, but you're sticking out flowers, all right? Maybe that's not the best uh, comparison, but I think you get what I'm saying. If you want to attract health and abundance and beauty and color and amazingness, then you have to look that way too. You're not going to have freaking unicorns coming up to a pile of garbage. And I'm, I'm not meaning to p call you a pile of garbage, but some people need to do a little cleaning up. And if you want to know how, bear with me and I will help you. Okay? That's why I am here. That is my life purpose. And I'm going to do my best to iterate that to you guys as much as possible. Today is day one. I think tomorrow I'm going to touch on energy or exercises you can do if you want to start learning. I don't know, maybe it's too early to start talking about that stuff because that's literally like using your psychic potentials. It's like flexing your muscle, but 
let's first feed yourself, okay? Feed your soul, okay? There's a lot of basics you have to cover before you start getting into being superhuman, all right? <laughs> Gotta meet our basic needs first. But thank you very much for joining me on this episode of Sixth Strength. I have a Facebook group. You can find it attached to my business page, Abigail Montgomery at Facebook. Otherwise, Sixth Strength is the name at my YouTube channel. Subscribe, comment, add whatever attention you want to. I don't mind. You can give me some hard criticism. I don't care, but attention is attention. But thank you for your time, and I hope to see you next time. Okay, have a great day.